Five good Samaritans jump into action at a metro station when a man in a wheelchair falls onto the tracks. This happened just a few hours ago inside the LaFont Plaza metro station. Kimberly Suter spoke to the heroes and she's live at the station with this exclusive story. Kimberly? We were right in the middle of covering the red line shutdown story here at L'Enfant Plaza Metro Station when we came across an incredible act of heroism that saved a man's life. This is a nightmare. The nightmare unfolded in the middle of the day in front of Verdell Thompson and dozens of people waiting on a green line train at L'Enfant Plaza. A little too close to the rail and you, you entertain that thought and as soon as you thought about it, he went over. Just as she feared, the disabled man and his motorized wheelchair plunged off the platform. But it was scary. I, I thought he was dead when they pulled him up because he wasn't moving. From the opposite side of the tracks, all Catherine Emmett could do was call for help. There's a lot of goodwill. I mean, because we're yeah. kind of stuck on this side. All we can do is hit the button. But five good Samaritans, including Earl Myers and Brian Williams, got there first. Where I just didn't think just ran to him. He was more, I thought it was moaning. Jumped down and looked to see if uh, I could get him off the tracks. So he was pretty banged up. See a few other guys jumped down and we were able to get him off the tracks. Lifting the injured man was easy, they said, compared to his several hundred pound wheelchair. I was waiting for another train to come through. I said, oh my God, they're going to get killed. She said when the rescuers never, never even looked up, never, never acted like the next train was anywhere on their minds. Do you give a thought to your own safety at all? After I did it, I did, yes. <laughs> after the fact, but not at first. And after a long day of red line delays and diversions. It's just scary. I hope he's all right. The Green Line heroes. Not thinking about their own safety. Put it all in perspective. Jumped in and pulled him out. Now, by the time paramedics arrived, the rescued man was able to talk with them. He was then transported to a local hospital. Reporting live in Southwest, Kimberly Suters, ABC 7 News.